Kenya's $1 trillion future city. Being an East African nation with an Indian Ocean coast, Kenya includes the magnificent Great Rift Valley, lakelands, savanna, and mountainous highlands. Additionally, animals like lions, elephants, and rhinos call it home. Safaris departing from Nairobi, the nation's capital, travel to the Maasai Mara Reserve, famous for its yearly migration of wildebeests, and Mbozili National Park, which offers views of Tanzania's 5,895-meter Mount Kilimanjaro. The nation is such a wonder and incredible tourist destination. It is for this reason and more that the Kenyan government intends to construct Kanza Technopolis, formerly known as Kanza Technology City, 64 kilometers south of Nairobi on the way to the port city of Mombasa. It is promoted as a major component of Kenya's Vision 2030 National Development Strategy. The project appears to be considerably behind schedule as of January 2019. Thanks for joining us in today's ride throughout Kenya to find out more about the Kenyan future city. Stay with us as we discover more. Please as you watch this video, like it and share it, for this is the only way that the YouTube algorithm can make it visible to others. The plan. The Kenyan government is promoting Kanza Technopolis as a business process outsourcing, BPO, initiative through the Kenya ICT board. Where African Silicon Savannah begins is how they describe it. The Kanza information website states that the project hopes to draw businesses involved in business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, and light assembly manufacturing. It also plans to construct a university campus with a strong emphasis on research and technology, as well as hotels, residential areas, schools, and hospitals. Additionally, a science park, convention center, commercial centers, hotels, international schools, and a medical facility are planned for the area. The project is planned to be built across 2,000 hectares of land straddling three counties, namely Mashekos County, Makimini County, and Kajiado County, within a 10-kilometer buffer zone, 64 kilometers south of Nairobi, on the way to the port city of Mombasa. An estimated $14.5 billion, 1.2 trillion Kenyan shillings, will be spent on it. It is promoted as a major component of Kenya's Kenya Vision 2030 National Development Strategy. The Strategy of the Project's Design In July 2012, Master Delivery Partner 1, MDP1, was hired by the Kenyan Ministry of Information and Communications and the International Finance Corporation, IFC, to create a thorough business plan and master plan for Phase 1. 22 firms responded to the expression of interest for this assignment, and a shortlist of six was created. The Ministry and IFC chose the worldwide team of six firms headed by HR and A Advisors, Incorporated of New York City. HR and A Advisors, Incorporated is a real estate and economic development consulting company with a focus on the implementation of sizable master plans. Creating the concept for the sales pavilion and the urban design for Phase 1 is the architecture and planning firm Shop Architects. An international strategy consulting company with a presence in Nairobi, Dalberg Global Development Advisors offers guidance to the KOTDA on economic strategy, tenant outreach, and organizational strategy. The local physical development plan for Kanza is being created by the Nairobi-based Physical Planning Company Center for Urban and Regional Planning. Oz Architecture is a design company that offers Kanza sustainable development tactics. Tetra Tech is a global provider of engineering services that is creating Kanza's infrastructure ideas. Dar Al Handasa, a global engineering services provider offering construction management services. The development of the project. The Kenyan government and the Parliament Account Committee approved Kanza Technopolis. Deloitte and Pell Frischman, a design consultant with offices in the UK, worked together to create the first feasibility and concept master plan, which was paid for by the International Finance Corporation. At that time, the project's scope was restricted to a 280 hectares, 700 acres, technology park with BPO slash it companies as its main tenants. 
Hal Frischman suggested Kanza Technology City during the feasibility study to increase the viability of the technology park as a tourist destination. The Kenyan government concurred and hired Pell Frischman to create a new master plan for a metropolis of 2,000 hectares. Reasons why the project is taking longer than expected For African governments, who are already battling to provide adequate roads, light, water, and security to their existing cities, putting such idealistic plans into action is no simple undertaking. According to Abdu Nuwang, a senior urban specialist with the World Bank in Kenya, creating a new city like Kanza is equally as critical as improving infrastructure in places like Kavura, slum, in Nairobi to give water and a better sewerage system. Some detractors claim Kanza was poorly planned from the beginning. Independent financial analyst Ali Khan Sachu from Nairobi stated, the vision is misguided, the vision is too big. This location is really remote. The current infrastructure is not being utilized. It is presuming that you can involve corporate entities, venture capitalists, and academia. But Tanjin Demo, who led a team that conceptualized Kanza Technopolis in 2008, said the first significant obstacle occurred in 2012 when the National Land Commission, NLC, which controls public land, implemented a time-consuming land acquisition method. The process was far slower than the previous one, in which investors signed agreements directly with government ministries, who took care of land leases, he claimed, and the delays led at least one contract with a German institution to fall through. In order to address this, the government gave the Kanza Technopolis Development Authority, CODDA, which was established in 2012 to coordinate the development of the new city, ownership of the site. CODDA now leases land to investors for 50 years with the option to renew it. Also, a significant problem has been financing. The government committed to funding 10% of Kanza's infrastructure in its strategic plan, with the private sector contributing the other 90% to the construction of universities, offices, homes, and hotels. Lawrence Esho, one of Kanza's project planners until 2013, stated that the government was hesitant to provide its share and has yet to approve a law to establish Cote Day as a legal company, which would make it simpler to sign contracts with outside lenders. As a smart city, Kanza Technopolis will collect information from implanted smart devices and sensors across the cityscape, e roadways and buildings, upon completion. The Tetra Tech team will offer the design recommendations necessary for the implementation of smart data throughout the infrastructure system. Via a sophisticated communication system, software will analyze the saved data. This real-time data will enhance features like sensors on the road that keep an eye on automobiles, bikes, and pedestrians, allowing traffic lights to change to accommodate commuters as needed. Kanza Technopolis will directly serve its population as a sustainable, smart city by raising the standard of municipal services to keep pace with population growth. Thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. By the way, tell us in the comment section if you think this project will affect Kenya positively or negatively. Also, do you think a tech city is necessary in Africa? And tell us of other amazing projects in your country that will improve your country.